I'm back. It's two weeks since I came here the first time. And today is Monday the 10th of December. We're only two weeks now from Christmas. And nobody's more relieved than I am to be actually standing here, well, sitting here at Land's End, ready to walk from here to Penzance. It's been two weeks, I've put a lot of thought and effort and everything into the last two weeks, but the weather's beaten me for certainly uh, the two weeks I've, I've been, been unable to do anything. Today I'm walking to Penzance and I'm going to get a bus back here. Then I'm going to go back up to just outside of St Ives, edit the film and get it onto you as soon as I possibly can. And tomorrow I haven't really thought too much about what I'm going to be doing, but I'm probably going to be walking down Lizard Point in that direction, but I've yet to sort out the logistics. It's 11 o'clock and here I am at the Gwenap Head watch station which is marks the, the point of kind of West Cornwall and East Cornwall because looking out to sea as I am now sitting alongside the watch station which is on my right I'm looking right out to sea and uh, I'm now going to be turning easterly and, and in, the, in the far distance I can see Lizard Point which according to the uh, 
uh, the, the the post which I've just seen is 22 miles from here. It's no good trying to show you on the camera, you'd never see it and I can only just pick it out myself. So that's the direction I'm heading in now which is Dover which will be my next big landmarks and uh, still got a good way to do it, a good way to go. I've walked five miles already uh, having set off this morning from uh, Penzance. I drove to Penzance this morning to Tesco's. I needed some food, I needed some petrol, I needed some cash and I needed a breakfast more than anything else and I, uh, I enjoyed that and the uh, first big breakfast I've had for a long time but I thoroughly enjoyed it and then I drove over here to Land's End and my intention is to uh, walk back to Penzance or somewhere between here and Penzance and there's two or three different buses that I can get which will take me back to Land's End and then I'll be going back again for the final night to St Ives because I know they've got good internet I know they've got a good phone signal and I want to edit this video and get it on for you all and, uh, and then tomorrow I'll be starting off again in Penzance and I'll be leaving the van there and working from Penzance for, for quite some time. I got back here on Thursday night through absolutely terrible weather and I've been sat in the van for the last three days being buffeted about by, the, by strong winds and rain. I was going to walk yesterday but it was 60 mile an hour winds I didn't fancy that in my face and so I uh, carried on doing some editing had a really early night in bed and I feel much better this morning especially being out here in the fresh air and getting some walking done uh, I feel a little bit stiff because I haven't walked for two weeks but I'll soon work that off and up to now there hasn't been too many hills and looking ahead of me I don't think it's going to be too bad either so I should be able to get a move on and make it quite easily back to Penzance tonight so here we go
it's 12.45 now and I'm just taking a, a break here at the Minac Theatre which is uh, marked on the map, you'll see it. There's a beautiful cove off to my right hand side and quite a lot of surfers down there and it looks absolutely wonderful. The day has turned out to be better than I thought it would. There's not a great deal of breeze and now that I've started walking in an easterly direction the wind is actually behind me which is quite interesting for the first time in a long time I've got the wind behind me and uh, I'm sure that will raise a few smiles but um, I'm doing all right whether I actually make it to Penzance I'm not entirely sure might be a little bit too far today but there are plenty of places where I can stop between here and there and get a bus or a taxi back to Land's End and then I'm off back again up to St Ives and I, I might um, I might pop in for a pint somewhere on the way back somewhere like Zena as an example I particularly like that pub
This lady is called Julie and uh, it, I've got one of those other incredible stories about being given lifts and the generosity of people in Cornwall and just after five o'clock I think it was Julie wasn't it somewhere around there yeah. and uh, I was walking down the road and I'd just been to a phone box which I couldn't operate and I asked Julie if she could give me some some help in, in uh, is there a shop in the village or I need to make a phone call because there's no no service in the area and she very kindly offered to, to bring me all the way here to Land's End and, and, and I can't thank you enough Julie you, you, you wouldn't believe the <laughs> amount of problems you've saved me no you're welcome now you're from New Zealand no I'm from Newland Penzance Cornwall yes but I moved to New Zealand about 20 years ago right with my what is now my husband and yes. I now have two children right. and we're just back on holiday and oh, we wow. leave on Wednesday so oh, wow. um, we were just out in the Wop wops. Well, uh, that's probably a Kiwi term, actually, yeah. <laughs> not a Cornish I've, I've, term. I've never heard of no, it. No, out in the wops, as in out in the middle of nowhere. And um, right. we just went to visit a stone circle, which is what I love doing down here. Yeah. Before we give the car back tomorrow and then drive up to London to get the train or plane, actually. Yeah. All right. Mm. So you've had a, a lovely bit of obviously you've had a successful visit. Yeah, too. it's always nice to come home. Saw Fantastic. Some family. You, that's really yeah. nice. Thank <laughs> you for your patience with this and everything. It's, it's right. a very unusual story, isn't it? <laughs> but you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. But that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm going to give you a card now. I'm going to put this camera away. Yeah. And, and once again, thank you very much it's indeed. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much thank indeed. You. Thank you. Thank you.